Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. T Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home Do Try This at Home is the show that takes Ordinary household items like you see right here In front of me and turns them into something Extraordinary I'm your host, Mr. G, and today on Do Try This at Home, we're going to be playing around with making our own generator. That's right. Well, and what are we going to need for today's episode? Well, what I've got here is I've got an old computer fan, cooling fan out of an old computer. I've got just a toy motor out of an old toy. I've got a couple of light emitting diodes, LEDs. And I've got these, I got these LEDs from um, a Christmas tree light set. All of the current Christmas tree lights this year seem to be LED technology, which is a really smart thing for them to do because the uh, technology's gotten low enough in price where they can implement it in Christmas tree light sets and they last far longer than incandescent bulbs and they're far, far more reliable. So you can find your spare bulbs out of your Christmas tree light sets. If it's an LED light set, that's how you can get those. And a couple of leads with the alligator clips on the end. I've also got an, what's called a multimeter. It measures frequency, voltage, resistance, and current. You don't need to have this, but I have it for demonstration purposes here on today's show. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out, I've got my alligator clips connected to my computer fan here, and I'm gonna take a couple D cells. You won't need these, but I'm just using them for demonstration and show you, just to show you that the, uh, Actually, it's easier this way, probably. Just to show you that this computer fan does run. Maybe, if I can get my stuff together. Let me just clip this alligator clip on the top of this battery, if it's possible. And it's not, so I'll just try it this way. There it goes. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the computer fan is running on the table there. So, the fan does work. Um, the motor will work as well. I will hook that one up to the batteries. But we're gonna take our computer cooling fan here. We're gonna take our leads, we untangle them a little bit here, possibly. And I'm gonna hook those up to our multimeter. And on the volt setting, I'm gonna show you that when I blow on the fan here, now watch, actually let me pull this in a little closer so you can see those numbers a little bit clearer. Ah, there we go. Now watch this, when I blow on the fan, our numbers move up. See that? And also, if we start with the toy motor, if I, I know you're pulled in and you can't see what I'm doing very well, but that's okay, because I'll just leave us, I'll leave us zoomed in to show you that when I spin the shaft of the toy motor, you can also see that, watch what happens here, I've hooked it up to the alligator clips now. It also generates voltage or current, it generates Basically what it's doing is it's moving electricity through the wire. So, we find out that a motor, just an ordinary motor, DC motor, let me zoom back out here. I need a production assistant, and I need people to zoom in and out for me. Any takers? No, I'm kidding. Um, I can do it, I can do it, no problem. Um, we found out that when we spin our motor shaft, or blow on this fan shaft here, we're generating electricity, or actually we're generating electrical current or movement of electricity through these wires. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hook up a little toy motor to our one of our LEDs here. Put that on there real nice. And then I'm going to spin that shaft of the motor as hard as I possibly can, and we're going to see if it lights up the LED. I'll pull you in a little closer here so you can see the LED light up, hopefully. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, if it doesn't light up, you want to reverse your leads because there is a polarity, meaning that positive and negative have to be proper on this as well because this is a DC motor. And it's, although it's not really generating straight DC, it still works better one way than the other, moving the electrical, or the electricity. Oops. We'll get it here. I promise we'll get it to work. I hope. There we go. Now, did you see that? Hopefully you can see. That when I spin the shaft nice and hard, the LED is lighting up for a second. Look at that. 
So just by spinning the motor, there's no battery here, by spinning the motor, it lights up our LED. Let me pull this back out again here. And this time, I'm going to use the computer fan to do the same thing. Only I'm going to blow on it. So what we're going to be basically making here is a wind generator. Let's see if I got the polarity right here. Possibly. Now it's going to take a lot of effort with me blowing on this. But here we go. Keep your eye on the LED. Here we go. Okay. I didn't see it light up, so I think the polarity is backwards. Let me switch it around. So just know, if it doesn't light up for you, switch the polarity of your leads around, meaning move them to the opposite wires on the LED, or switch the leads on the fan. Okay, here we go again. Again, there's no battery involved here, nothing like that. It's just the fan and the LED. Here I go. Wow, not getting that to light up. Let me see here. Now that should be lighting. Let me let me reverse that again. I think I've got it backwards. So. Try again here. Don't give up yet. Don't give up on me just yet. There it went. do with the angle that I was blowing on that fan. I wasn't getting enough speed. Wow, I'm starting to see stars. Woo, getting woozy, lightheaded. It's because lack of oxygen, because I'm blowing all the air out and not enough oxygen is getting back in. So if I start to slur my speech, I'm not drunk. I'm just getting drunk on blowing on a fan. So here we go, watching it. Look at that. So by moving the fan with my air coming out of my lungs, I am able to generate an electrical current and light the LED. Amazing, isn't it? So you could take this and you could mount it to a little wind vane, stick it up on your roof, and on a really windy day, run some leads into the house and have your own miniature nightlight in your room. And it's got to be really a lot of wind, so wait till a nice one of these winter days when we've got whipping winds, and you can generate electricity with your very own wind generator. That's right, just out of an old computer fan. If you had a propeller for your little toy motor, it would probably also work. Well, I'll tell you what, that's about it for today's episode of Do Try This at Home. There's a couple of website links in the description of today's video especially mindlessmirth.com. Click on that link for me and become a subscriber to my blog. I'd really, really appreciate it. Anyway, stick around for the outtakes. I'm Mr. G, and do try this at home! And I've got a cat that's knocking stuff around the floor. Hold on a second here. Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. Do Try This at Home is the show, is the shish. <clears throat> Instead of using incandescent bulbs, so they're easy to come by. And I've got a cat playing episode occurring behind the camera, so you may hear, oh boy. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I think I'll start that over and move the cats to the uh, other room so that they. Move the kitties to the other room so that they're not causing kitty havoc. Why is it that every time I go to make a video it, for the last month or two months or three months, several months, every time I come in the kitchen to make a video, the cats all follow me in here and wreak havoc on the video. Every time. I don't understand. But anyways, we're going to start this over. Maybe. If I can get it to the 2D cells to stack. Now you say, but that's a 12 volt molder. Mo molder. That's a 12 volt molder. <laughs> Jeez. Let's start that again. Oh my gosh. Having a lot of trouble today, folks. Deep breaths. Get your act together. <gasps>